This is Roger Mudd at the U.S. Capitol. Roger Mudd set the standard for political reporting in the tumultuous 1960s, becoming a household name in American living rooms as a fixture on the CBS Evening News with Walter Cronkite. With the Democrats in such overwhelming control of the Congress, it is a spirited race for a relatively minor party post in the Senate. From his perch on Capitol Hill, Mudd covered momentous stories. From the fight for the landmark Civil Rights Act of 1964 to the Watergate scandal that led to the downfall of an American president. Good evening. The Nixon presidency is virtually being overtaken by events tonight. A familiar presence on the campaign trail, Mudd closely covered Bobby Kennedy's rise to political stardom. What do you think about running for president? He was there in 1968 when minutes after winning the California primary... Now it's on to Chicago and let's win there. Kennedy was shot in a hotel ballroom in Los Angeles. A decade later, Mudd's interview with Ted Kennedy helped sink the Massachusetts senator's 1980 presidential campaign before it began with this simple question. Why do you want to be president? Well, I'm... Uh, Despite I'm years of substituting for Walter Cronkite, when Cronkite retired, Mudd was passed over for and the Daniel CBS Shore News anchor you. chair in this favor of Dan like Rather. He jumped to with NBC Brokaw, News, where he York. was briefly paired Roger with Tom Mudd Brokaw. Good evening. President Reagan today proposed what amounts to a summit meeting with the Soviet Union. Later serving as moderator of Meet the Press, before moving to the PBS NewsHour and then the History Channel. Still, Mudd told the NewsHour in 2008 his years at CBS marked his finest hour. Everything that could have happened happened in those 20 years, and we were there uh, with a swagger covering every bit of it. For today, Andrea Mitchell, NBC News, Washington. Well, Mudd had more than 30 years on network television, but Savannah and Hoda, he had four children, mm. 14 grandchildren mm -hmm. and two great grandchildren. And I thought it was interesting in the statement released by his family at the very end of it. It says he delighted in discussing journalism, government and current events with his family and friends, none of whom got off without having to feel tough follow up questions. <laughs> Even at home. Oh, I bet they hung on every word. I mean, he was just a giant in our industry. Chanel. Thank, thank you, you, Chanel. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.